Hey, good morning, everybody. Thanks for tuning again here to uh, Facebook, YouTube, wherever you are. Again, I'd love for you to be able to just like, comment, and share, especially today. Like down below, share this video, comment like this video, this message is a big deal for Christians. And also, if you're far from God, not Christian, this is a big deal for you. I, I want you to listen in. All right, this is a core aspect of Christians. And today, we're talking about a game changer, something that happens that completely changes the tra trajectory of every person's life that's a Christian. So you think about those moments in your life where some event happened. Um, it could have been a tragedy. could have been something glorious. could have been something that somebody just said to you, like a one-liner. could have been your parents or a coach or a teacher. But there are these moments that happen that completely change the direction of our lives. One of mine was when I saw my wife for the first time. Like, I went to college, went to Lincoln Christian University. It was Lincoln Christian College back then. And I went into a room. There's a big room. A couple hundred people could sit in this classroom, R49. And I was sitting in the back. I watched this beautiful woman walk across. Literally was thinking, that is one of the most beautiful women I've ever seen in my entire life. And I remember uh, leaning over and um, I was talking with my dad and... Uh, he said, you're going to have a good time here. And I said, yes, I am. So right then even, seeing that lady, that woman, that beautiful woman walk across the stage, for some reason, I knew that was that was her. Now, so I ended up going talking to her and uh, made an idiot of myself, you know, typical Jason fashion. But that moment still, like... That completely changed uh, how I relate, what I do with my time, my resources, um, my attention. It was, it was all redirected. And so, that same type of power, that same like type of event, there was an event that happened that has completely changed even our entire world and our cultures, especially the Western, Western civilization. And that was... The resurrection of Jesus Christ. Actually, Jesus dying, raising from the grave. Like, that's not normal. That is a miracle. A guy raising from the grave, dead three days, comes up out of the tomb, shows himself, reveals himself to all kinds of people, you know, talking, meeting with different people, and then ultimately going uh, to heaven. So that event and that belief... It changes everything about who Christians are. So if you're a Christian, I want you to hear loud and clear. Like this is a major event that happened uh, 2,000 years ago that should change the trajectory of how you live your life. Like we don't live the same way everybody else does. Same way when I saw my wife. My, I changed. Like my time, my resources, my attention, it, it changed. Like I, I had a different focus. Same way, when I realized that Jesus died for me and then proved who he said he was when he rose from the grave, when I came to that realization, that changed my life. Like my time, my resources, my direction, what I did with literally, literally with my life, it changed my focus. So if you're out there and you're far from God or even skeptical skeptical about Christians and what they do and why they do, listen, this, this is so massive for us. Like it is understanding that God has given me, given me an identity. God has made me a new creature, a new creation, he says. And so Jesus living in me, I have a spirit, I have this church. Like, that should change everything about our lives. And so, we should be living that way. So, one of the challenges, if you don't know Jesus and you don't believe that, I want to challenge you a little bit today. What do you believe about that? So, and some people will think, look at the resurrection or, uh, well, let me even back up and say this profound thing. Maybe, maybe kind of in your face, but historical fact, Jesus died. Like, you, you really can't argue that. I could argue that your grandpa lived, right? But he lived. 
right? I mean, it's, we can go back and see all the documentation historically. I mean, people knew, interacted with them. Same thing with Jesus. You cannot de deny the fact that there was a Jesus and that he died, died on a cross, right? Historical fact. We see it. Again, all kinds of documentation going on about this. Historically, there was a man named Jesus who many people followed and apparently saw ty types of miracles. Historical fact, he died on a cross. Historical fact, he was put in a grave. He was put in a tomb. The question is, what do you do about the three day later part? What do you do with the fact, I would say, that Jesus came out of that and walked like a normal person? You and I, no matter who you are, whether close to God, far from God, Christian or not, you've got to come in an understanding, or a, I would say a decision, what do you do with this part? And some people try and explain away the resurrection, right? They'll say, everybody was just hallucinating that they saw Jesus. All right, so five, 600 people just hallucinated all the same thing with the you know same people. It, that doesn't make sense. Or they talk about uh, maybe somebody just came and stole the body. But with the, the Roman guard there and the time and the place and everything, like, it just doesn't work that way. Like, it, the, the Roman guard's not going to do that, not going to allow it. And then even afterwards, they started spreading lies, intentionally spreading lies about it. So the real question is, will you accept this as a, a fact? Like a, a historical fact? And then, you know, maybe even then you're like, well, I just don't want to follow Jesus. Right? And so there are people like this. So there are great atheists out there who, great thinkers, and here's where they come to. So Fredrickson said this, I know in their own terms, these people who saw Jesus risen from the dead, walking around, I know in their own terms what they saw was the raised Jesus. Historically, that's what the documentation leads to. Jesus was walking around after he died, like three days later. And that's what they say. And then all the historical evidence we have afterwards attests to their conviction that's what they saw. We can tell by their lives they were willing to die for what they saw. They realized and that moment in time completely changed their life. Like they were set on mission. Again, like me seeing Joni, it changed my entire life. These people who saw Jesus, it changed everything and they were willing to die murderous, torturous deaths because of, it, because of it. All of them. So that's what they say. This is the quote from Fredrickson. That's what they say. And then all the historical evidence we have afterwards attests to their conviction that that's what they saw. I'm not saying that they really did see the raised Jesus. I wasn't there. I don't know what they saw. But I do know that as a historian, that they must have seen something. Yeah, all these people willing to die torturous, murderous deaths? What, because of a lie? Well, they surely would have confessed. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm backing off. I didn't really see that or experience it. No, this was a life changer event. Another one, Sanders said, that Jesus' followers, and even later, later Paul, had a resurrection experience is, in my ju judgment, a fact. This is an atheist talking. What the reality was that gave rise to the experience, I don't know. So it's, it's like when you look at the evidence, when you look at the history, history of everything, you begin to realize something indeed happened three days later after Jesus rose from the grave. And all the facts, line, all the evidence line up to say, Jesus probably rose from the grave. But it's like people want to stop short and say, but I don't know. Or people will hear this, this story of Jesus, born, born a virgin, right? Born in Bethlehem, raised in Galilee, raised in Nazareth, Nazareth goes around teaching, doing all these miracles. And then he's killed, right? Murdered on the cross and then rose from the grave. And many people will say, hmm, cool story. <laughs> and that's where it ends. So they'll go and they'll hear, hear all this historical fact and they'll end with, cool story, bro. Like that event should change your life. Should bring you to a point of realizing, whoa, 
I've got to do something with this information. I, I could have ignored Joni walking up front, right? No, I did something with that information. I gotta go find out who this lady is. I, and so for you, you need to find out who this Jesus is. He has risen from the grave, proving that he is who he said he was. Proving what he says matters. It matters to your life. It matters to your future and where you go and how you handle it. So for Christians out there, I want you to hear this verse. Roman, or 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 58. Therefore, my dear brothers, brothers, sisters in Christ, stand firm. Stand firm in what you experience and what you know. Let nothing move you. Like this world's crazy chaotic. Let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. Like that moment changed my life. It changed my trajectory. It changed my what I influence, what I'm being influenced by, who I speak to, how I speak to them, how I love people, how I view them. Everything is different because Jesus rose from the dead. Everybody out there, I need you to hear and even come to a conclusion. What do you do with this historical fact? You just dismiss it? That's a choice. You saying, well, I don't really know. I'm not going to commit. That's a choice. The last part, you could say, I believe it. And it's going to change my life. It's also a choice. Let Jesus have your life and then run with it. Right? That's the beautiful life. So hopefully you heard that loud and clear, and I want, I want to make sure you even hear this loud and clear. If you have any questions, any concerns, any, well, what about this or this? I love talking about this stuff. I love sharing and answering those questions and pointing people to the life changer. And you're probably listening to no one. You could, you could use a little bit of change. So message us, uh, call the office, whatever you need to do, um, get in contact with us. That's our heartbeat. We want to help people like you. So let me pray for you. God, we do thank you for this massive, mighty event of your son raising from the dead and how that just, it empowers us. It gives us hope. It emboldens us. It it shows us that we have power to make this life right, both in our own lives and those around us. So God, help us to love like you love and thank you for what you've done, especially through your son and his sacrifice. Your sons and I pray. Amen. Have a great week. We'll see you next week.